Okay, joining manager Luke Garrard before we welcome Wildstone here tomorrow afternoon. Um, Luke, there's only really one place to start. It was announced this week that you will be departing um, the club uh, following the last game of the season. Um, I'm sure it's been an emotional week. Has it, has it changed any of your mindset going into the last four games? Nothing. That's not the interview for me today, obviously, yet. Yeah, look, that was on Tuesday. Some emotional messages, some emotional days, but the focus has been fully on Wildstone. Um, my program notes don't write about thanking many. That will come at Edfleet and no doubt there'll be an interview to thank everyone at the club moving forward. But now the focus is Wildstone. Um, totally, we've been fortunate. Obviously, we had a game on Monday. We've been in to work on Wildstone and we know the magnitude of the game and how important it is for everyone come 3pm tomorrow. Yeah, you mentioned the importance of the game following the South End defeat. i uh, just curious, have you sensed a reaction from the players coming into work this week? Um, possibly, I've sensed there's a bit of nervousness, but that's for me to identify tomorrow and make sure that the pressure is fully on my shoulders. I need the boys to go out and implement what we've worked on in the last few days. Um, we've watched them. They would probably be feeling a little bit aggrieved to the results they've got in recent weeks because their performances probably warrant more points. But we're both on a similar run, one win in our last eight for the pair. Um, but that form guy goes right out the window. It's about getting three points tomorrow. And however that looks, come 5pm, we need to be three points better off. Yeah, how are the players feeling? Obviously, after the, uh, during the South End game, sorry, uh, Whelan had to come off injured. How is the, the squad feeling? Yeah, listen, we've had a bank holiday weekend to forget. It was something that we addressed and with all the right intentions going into that, to uh, minimum three points against Dagenham. And that's not to say that we're warranting that or should have get that against the side of Dagenham's stature um, but it's a home game and then you'd like to back that up with a point away on, on the road against South End. that's not been the case so yeah the boys are obviously upset the manner in which we've lost the games of football two first halves and it's been a hell of a focus on starting the game sharp like we did against Fylde here and we need that we need the reaction from the fans we need them more than ever and they've been colossal because I say it in my programme notes that the fans against Dagenham, they come out in their numbers and for us, we let them down. Um, so now we need to make sure that we put on a performance that warrants three points. Yeah, you mentioned the two first halves over the bank holiday weekend. How important is it going to be to start quick and also take your chances when you do have spells in the game? Yeah, look, I thought we started all right against South End and they went and go and get a goal against the run of play. Some criminal defending, the boys have been told about that. We've spoken about that. And for me, it's making sure that we are clinical because... We should have taken the lead against Altrinham and we had good spells against Altrinham, but it's about being ruthless. It's about both boxes tomorrow and we need to ensure that yeah, come 3pm we're right at it and we give the fans something to shout about. Yeah, you mentioned the form guy goes out the window. Our form obviously hasn't been, been good, but neither has Wild Stones. Uh, what are you expecting from them tomorrow? Very similar to the team that Stree Maynard set up. Like to play their patterns, like to play their way through the thirds. Got some real good talented individuals that higher up on the pitch and... We need to ensure that we're guarding against that. But I need 11 lads to start the game and then three lads to come on and influence the game and to run for a brick wall for this football club in this town. And that's, his, that's exactly what I expect come 3pm. Um, we know that there's no more dress rehearsals. This is last chance saloon. We need to ensure that we're picking up three points tomorrow.